Well, attention folks that are getting married, engaged couples, you know, they take the summers off, but when it gets to fall, they really start planning. I don't know, people I think have to plan year round just to get everything that they want and when they want it and where they want it. And Matthew Trutel is here from The Wedding Guys, and he is here to tell us what's in and what's out for weddings in 2018. And there's some really interesting trends. How you doing? Good, good. Good, good, good to good. be here, thanks. Bruce, I know, is watching, and he kind of fell and hurt his ankle really bad, so I'm hoping that he will heal fast. Yeah, thank you. I know, I'm sorry so about that. Okay, let's start out with flowers. You flowers. look beautiful, by the way. <laughs> That's, these are some stunning colors. Yes, love this. So um, really kind of pale colors. Um, people love the purples. What I love about bouquets right now is they've gotten a little bit smaller, okay. a little bit more organic. Uh, which is really great uh, and really a great mixture of different. Uh, you need to get a little tight shot of these flowers because they're really, really cool how they work here and this beautiful roses. Yeah, here so as well. Catherine from um, One Precious Pearl um, put mm -hmm. this together for us, which okay. is, I think is fantastic. And what I love about coming to the shows is that you actually get to meet the people behind all of the details, right? Okay. And it's not huge. Um, oh. About flowers as well. The flowers from the ceremony are yeah. going to the to reception. reception. Yep, that's transferred. So Utilize that investment and. Why would you do it get twice? Double the impact. Tall. Cake. Tall cakes Big are in cakes again. cakes are back. We're okay. so happy. All right. But now it's not just cake. It's cake and. You have lots of dessert options, too. Okay, so but cake and then you do this, too? Yep. Wow. Which is great because you can do, like, especially later in the evening, great Yep, snacks. absolutely. So um, kind of the hot things, caramel cups. Um, we have um, pumpkin, uh, mini caramels, um, pumpkin cups. Cake uh, pops. Ca cake pops are really popular. Um, panna cotta. But this is where everybody is going right Cookie now. Cookie dough. Cookie dough is the hot thing. That so is wild. super fun. Yeah, All so right. great late night. Sometimes they're combining it with yep. the cake is as well. Is there still late night um, food like yes, burgers people love and that. sliders? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. so this is a great addition to that. Fantastic. Okay, now we have a video of light. Lighting is a cheap oh. way to really make things look great. Totally transforms the space. And so okay. we have a couple of pictures to take a look at. Um, so this is actually the St. Paul Hotel. And you can see how dramatic the lighting makes the room. And what's really great is with lighting now, you can actually change the color over the course of the evening. And so oh. this is the same room. How neat is that? It's so cool. Cool. So I never let's say about that. a certain course you're serving yep. for dinner and all of a sudden the lights change. Wow, isn't that cool? I like that a lot. Okay, location. Barns, barns, barns. Barns are still big. They are really big. Um, people love that rustic look, um, but we're seeing it kind of refine again. Um, lodges, we're doing actually at the show a concept called Lux Lodge and um, creating kind of all of that um, gilded piece with the rustic, which oh, is really cool. It's like glamping kind yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so the dresses, which is funny because I had these um, 20 some years ago, sleeves. Yeah, sleeves are back, which is fantastic. It's really interesting. So boho was really, really popular, and we're seeing kind of the switch back to kind of classic now. Okay. Um, with some great influences, um, little fuller skirts, which is great. The sleeves are fantastic. I love that um, skirt. Seeing a little bit more jewel. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're, the classic is back. I think um, in a lot of different ways. Fuller skirts, so fuller skirts, but trimmed tuxedos. Trimmed tuxedos, a little bit more European. This is from Savvy. Dresses from the wedding shop. They're both going to be on the runway, which is really great because you can actually see how everything looks um, in the runway show. And that's what happens tomorrow. And there is a big runway show, and you yeah. can go and meet all these people and really get a lot of the details taken care of tomorrow. Exactly. Or shop them around, right? Well, and what's really great now is this is a great time to do the planning because a lot of um, businesses still have dates available for next year. As you get later in the season, they book up and they only have so many dates. Yep, so if you're gonna get married and you get the ring and you're just overwhelmed, the next day, what should you do? Should you book the place or should you book a planner? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> come to the show okay. to see what you want. Cause you don't, like most oh, people don't even know so what's available. True. But yeah, so day of planners are really, really helpful. Okay. That's really great. And you always gotta get your venue first. That's gonna dictate timing for everything else. Okay, good to know. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks a lot. And Bruce, I hope you feel better. And you can find plenty of more inspiration at the Unveiled Wedding Event. It happens tomorrow from noon to 4 at the Minneapolis Convention Center, and we have a link for tickets. And to learn more on carolevin.com, we'll